Who's there? Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Hi. Hi. I was uh, driving by and I saw your lights were on. Yeah, I was just doing some work. Well, then maybe I should come back another no, time. No, no, come on in. I'd enjoy the company. Well, you might change your mind after you find out what kind of a mood I'm in. Uh-oh. You know, I feel like I could punch holes in all these walls. Well, don't do that. I gotta work here. No, relax. I'm straight myself, I promise. Come on. Sit down. No, I can't do that. Do you want to tell me what's Who wrong? Who the hell does he think he is? Oh. Evan Bates. I mean, I was just over there with Vicky. Over where? At her house. My house, our house, uh, tonight, just a little while ago, and we were, I was, I was, we were getting close, okay? Uh, I see. And who should barge right in but Evan Bates? Just out of the blue? Out of the blue. I mean, I had no idea he was coming. I certainly didn't expect him. Well, what did he have to say? He starts ranting and raving, demanding to know, you know, what I'm doing there, why I'm trying to make love to a woman I'm divorcing, acting as if he's some sort of a bodyguard for her or something like that. Well, how did Victoria react well, I to I think she was this? so stunned she didn't know what to do. And so I, I, I left. Right. I just couldn't right. take it anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, who the hell does he think he is interrogating me like that? And what business is it of his, you know, whether I'm with Vicky or not? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm, I'm just a little curious myself. What about? Why were you there? Oh, no, not you too, Stacy. It's just that it's it's not what I would have expected. Well, she's the mother of my child, for God's yes. sakes. And we are still married. Right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I don't know why I was there. I take that back. Yes, I, I do. I do know why I was there. I was there because... because as hard as I try, I can't get this woman out of my life. Jamie. It's not going to happen overnight. No. But it is going to happen. I'm going to make it happen. Right. Come on, let's go out to dinner right now. Right now? Why not? Well, first of all, it's late. Uh, uh, we'll go to Tops. We'll have a nice dinner. We'll do some dancing. No, I can't. Really, I would love to, but I'm sorry I can't. All right, fine. I'll go myself. Jamie! <clears throat> You just have to get out more and meet people and other women. Yeah, right. It'll be good for you. Yeah, listen, I can figure out what's good for myself, Stacy. Thanks. You're just... All I'm saying is it will help you to get over Vicky much more quickly. Oh, I'll get over Vicky, all right. You can count on that. Come in, Cal. How did you know it was me? Have you heard anything about the Red Swan? I'm working on it. What does that mean? It means I'm working on it. <laughs> Just don't get any ideas. About what? Making a play for the bird yourself. <laughs> Derek, Derek, how can you think that? I made a deal. Don't give me that honor among thieves stuff. Well, there should be trust between old friends. So why are you having me followed? What? You heard me. <laughs> Derek. Hey, I learned a long time ago how to spot a tail. I need to make sure that your uh, quest for this fancy bird is legit. So you still, you still afraid that I'm going to try to pin you with something? I'm a cautious man. So am I. Yeah, well then you'll understand why I'd like to propose a little test. For who? What, me? I'd feel more comfortable working with you if I knew we were both working on the same side. Same old paranoid cow. So what'd you have in mind? I know you have a very rich friend whose apartment has to be loaded with goodies. Expensive goodies. What are you talking about? It's very simple. You're gonna steal something for me. And you're gonna steal it from your old pal, Felicia Gallant. It was un... Believable. Well, take it easy, Frankie. It was a major disaster. Major, major. You wouldn't be exaggerating just a little bit, now, would you? <gasps> you weren't there, Derek. Well, no, it was your date with Cass. Why would I be there? Oh, Caroline was there. Huh? Well, some of the time, anyway. How'd that happen? Oh, I knew it was going to be a disaster. I predicted it. The I Ching predicted it. The tarot cards predicted it. A weatherman could have predicted it. 
Frankie, uh, why don't you sit down and start from the very beginning? Uh, well, the whole thing was a mess. Well, what happened with Caroline? Well, you know that I went to the gallery, right? Oh, yeah. Well, Sonia. we had a close encounter of the worst kind. You two had words. Oh, bad words. Bad, bad words. She pulled her uppity number on me, you know, looking down that too perfect nose. Well, I'm surprised you didn't break it for her knowing you. Derek, I came this close, let me tell you. But some of the stuff she said was true. Like what? Oh, she kept going on and on about how Cass and me don't belong together. And... Well, you didn't believe that. Well, look at Cass and look at me. Well, Frankie, that's kind of hard to do, seeing as how you're here, but Cass isn't. Uh, this is not funny, Derek. I think it is funny. What? I think it's funny that you don't think that you're good enough for Cass Winthrop. Oh, I do, too, think I'm good enough. Sort of. Because if anybody pales by comparison, it's him. What? I mean, the real question here is, is he good enough for you? Well, you know, Cass and me, we're not the same. Yeah. Well. Well, what? Well, sometimes the differences between people... Is that all you can say about me, Derek? Sometimes the differences make things exciting. Oh, that is. That's all he can say about me. Come on, Frankie. You know what I think about you. You're terrific. <laughs> I don't know about this differences thing, Derek. Yeah, well, trust me. I do. As a matter of fact, you are the man I'm most comfortable with. Glad you feel that way. The only problem is you're taken. You blew it, Derek. Yeah. Stacy's very lucky. Well, hey, this thing with Cass, it's gonna work out. No. Well, now, come on, you're just angry, yeah, you're upset. I have to forget him. Why? Because it's no good. You can't make a decision like that when you're upset. <gasps> oh, yes, I can. Of course I can. I'm going to wash that man right out of my Hare Krishna. Which is easier said than done. I just... I wish that it didn't hurt so much. Well, you know, I still think that if you just wait a little bit... You know what? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to concentrate on getting the red swan back, you know? Throw myself into my work, and I'm going to clear your name for you, Derek. I am. You're a good friend, Frankie. Yeah? You are too. Hi. Stacy. Hi. What are you doing here? I thought you were going to stay at the law office tonight. Is there some special reason why you wanted me to stay there? If you know there was. <laughs> She's not talking about that, Derek, and you are way off base, Stacy. What? It's not what you're thinking. It's not even close. Oh, man. Oh. You know, Derek was just being a good friend to me. And I shouldn't have to say this to you, Stacy, but first of all, I am insulted that you think I would do that to you. And secondly, if you don't know how he feels about you, then you're out of your mind, and you don't deserve it. All right, now, I'm going to leave you two alone and get out of here. I'll talk to you, Frank. Yeah, see you later. Are you okay? Yeah. She had a rough time, you know. She was... Uh... Look, no. You don't have to explain. I was just being stupid. Frankie was right. And I'm sorry. I'd never... I know. You guys are good friends. I've seen you together. It's fine. It's better than fine. What? You guys are so... easy with each other. I don't understand. Just a lot of life. Well, sometimes it's the differences. Why? 
How are Frankie and I alike? I don't know. You're... You just talk easily to one another. Now, Frankie talks easily to a lot of people. I know. I... I just think that you guys share sentiments and... Oh, oh and you and I don't? No, that's not what I, I meant. Because I think we're pretty good that way. And I know sometimes we don't have to say anything at all. No, we don't. I don't know exactly what you're feeling. Took you so long. What do you want? That little present we talked about. Have you got it for me yet? You have to prove yourself. Yeah. To Cal? Yeah. I don't believe this. You have to prove yourself to a crook. He doesn't trust me. Well, I don't trust him. Frankly, I think he's probably the one that sent me that threatening note. It's possible. Well, who else could it have been? Hey, look, let's just stop the detective work, okay, for today? I want to get you settled in for the night. Well, wouldn't I be a lot safer if I stayed at your place? Cal's having my place watched. How do you know that? I know him. And if you keep coming in and out over there, he's going to wonder what's going on. I'll have a tough time explaining who you are. You will stay with me for a little while, won't you? Yeah, but just a little while, because I've got something I have to do. Prove yourself. Yeah. How are you going to do it? Steal something. Steal something? From Felicia. Felicia.